I'm Ron Aldridge, editor of Trailer Boats Magazine, and today we're going to show you some easy and effective tips for launching your boat. Obviously, we can't cover everything in just a few minutes, so that's why we recommend that you refer to your guide to towing found at trailerboats.com. Some launch ramps have specific rules about loading and unloading your boat. Find out if there are any special regulations at your ramp and follow them. Since most boat ramps are very busy places, you want to make sure that you get your rig ready to go away from the ramp. Some ramps have ready lanes specifically for this. Other areas, you'll just have to pull off into a parking lot like we've done here. This is where you're going to want to get everything ready to go. Your lines secured, your fenders on the boat, all the gear that you're going to need for the day of fun on the lake. Part of getting the boat ready, of course, is getting the transom tie-down straps off, get the uh, drain plug good and tight. Next, we'll move to the engine support. We'll trim the engine up just a little bit. And then remove this support bracket. What this does is keeps the engine from vibrating too much while you're trailering. Takes the stress off the transom. Good for the life of your boat. But leave the winch strap connected until you're actually down to the water. We always recommend that you uh, unplug your trailer lights before launching the boat. Uh, when that uh, cold water hits those hot bulbs, it doesn't do them any good. So go ahead and secure this. Get it up out of the way so it doesn't drag on the pavement. If your trailer has disc brakes, unplugging trailer lights also disconnects the reverse lockout solenoid that allows the trailer to back up freely. So wait until the boat's nearly in the water before disconnecting the trailer lights. Take your time and back down the ramp slowly until the water is about halfway over the fenders, more or less, depending on the boat, the trailer, and water conditions at the ramp. Roll the windows down so the person in the tow vehicle can communicate with the person in the boat. Set the parking brake, and put the transmission in park, or first gear if you have a manual transmission. Now I'm going to trim the engine down a little bit. Not too much though, because it's shallow here at the ramp. Make sure the engine's started. And give it time to warm up. Now that the engine's warmed up, the wind strap is off, we're ready to back this Boston Whaler off the trailer. After launching your boat, ease the truck and trailer off the ramp and into the parking space so somebody else can use the ramp. And that's all there is to launching. 